but yeah, no, the, the open challenge, pretty much as long as I am physically capable of, because I cannot defend the belt when I'm at work. It is not, actually I could, I'm not even going to lie, I could bring my headset to work if I wanted to. No, no joke, my job don't give a shit, I could bring my headset with me. I really could. <laughs> no, I mean, I would just tell you all the fuck off because I ain't taking my headset out of the house. If I do, it's going to be in the backyard. But the idea of uh, doing it like this is, uh, I will, if you go and challenge me like, hey, yo, I want to fight and you say it at one o'clock in the morning, I don't care. We will schedule a time where it works for both of us because I generally get off work around, I'm trying to think, you're an hour behind me. Around nine, running around nine, ten. That's usually when I get off work and get home around noon. That's just a simple, put it simply. Like, it, it's pretty simple work. It's not even that big of a deal, like, my day varies, but for the most part, the reason why I work early morning shift is so that by the time y'all wake up, it's done, I'm done with work, I'm screwing around by then. But I mean, that's why I'm like, yeah, no, I keep it to where everyone can challenge me at almost any given time, so. Oh. I'm just gonna borrow my head, but, uh, buddy's headset. <laughs> like, cause if we could go on, uh, take accounts and put them on another headset, I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna just beat y'all ass off of that one. <laughs> but then again, that's about a couple of months away. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, as good of a fighter as I may be, and as much of a gap as I proved yesterday. There, there's that. There's still that level that is like, you guys could train your ass off over the week, and you can see massive improvements. Like I gave Kill, or well not Kill, but fucking wrong person. I gave King a training assignment. Like he didn't have to follow it. I just recommended it. I told him to take the likes of a, uh, like you know, go to the endurance fights offline. And I told him to edit the rules to where the difficulty would be on champion difficulty. Obviously, if it's not on champion difficulty, I mean, sure. The opponent's health would have to be at, a. Uh, you have to have the, uh, their, like, health at, uh, 10. The damage multiplier adjusted accordingly. I recommend not trying to adjust it below, uh, below 1. I honestly would recommend keeping it around like two, maybe three at best. But the idea is that he would take and uh, choose like uh, Rosario, you know, the guy with the mohawk. Because he's weak and his uh, ability is defense, which is against what he does. The idea is to get him to slow down and use uh, defense more. And his stamina is also shit. I even told him his stamina needs work. Or he could take Scrap. Somebody weak. He could take in uh, Brazier as well, but I recommend that he was to fight Brazier. Because um, he's weak, but he's uh, tough, so he could take the hits. And the idea is that uh, he, he's supposed to take and throw about five, uh, you know, like anywhere from like 300 to like five, 600 in hits. Because you know those champion bots can take a hit. They can. And then uh, if you are, especially if they're tough, they'll take uh, quite a bit of hits. But the idea is that he's supposed to, however he wants, he could be as quick as he wants, stuff like that. But supposed to build up his endurance, his speed, and his defense. You, on the other hand, it, that's not necessary. Because you are not an out or an in fighter. You're not as quick or as aggressive. You're the counter. So it's like, you're not, you're not going to fight like that. You're not going to need to train in that sense. For someone like you, I would recommend putting up their health probably about, probably about 7 at the highest. So you still have that workout. I would probably say around 5, 7. One of the two. But your goal would put your, uh, their damage output at 5. 5 up is what I would recommend for you. The reason for this one is since you counter and you're supposed to uh, get some good defense, 
and practice your defense, you're not supposed to get hit. You won't be able to get too many hit many times with that. I don't want you to be instant KO'd, but that's why it's at five. Almost. <laughs> you're, you're pretty damn close to instant KOing with that shit. It, it's definitely a pain. I am actually... I think what I will do... Normally, we would do a warm-up. I, myself, will actually do an offline warm-up. I'm not going to fight a player this time to warm-up. I will actually be taking and doing exactly what I told Kill to do. Or not Kill, but fucking... Uh... Yeah, so for you, it don't matter who you play as. Your character don't matter all too much. I recommend choosing an opponent or choosing a player like Balboa, uh, Drago, Mad Dog. I'm trying to see who else has poor defense. Um, let's see. Who? Oh. Which one's that? Good example. That's actually a really good example. Any of them, the reason why I'm saying those guys is because they don't regen stamina. And I want you to push and make it to where you have to properly defend well. And, you know, and then pop in that uh, offense any way you want. By playing and, like, the idea is to push your counter -ups. For a fighter like me, I would put my health at 100 or 10. I'm going to slap them with a 10, and myself, I would probably go on, like, because I'm built for speed, like, that's the class I went and put into, like, you, when you and I fought last night, you see why I original, now you understand why I said I don't rank an in-fighter, that my out-fighter speed constant movements come into play, you understand why I put myself in that class now. Instead of being a, more of a in-your-face type of guy. Yeah. Because I technically go and uh, I jump around a lot more. The idea is that I need to use, for my character, I need to use people like uh, Clubber Lang, Rhino, uh, who else has got the uh, overexertion, Tommy Gunn, uh, fucking what's his name, uh, Conwin. Ma uh, he, he, no, I mean overexertion. The reason for overexertion is I can't keep throwing complete speed offense as much as I would like. And this forces me to move instead. I could use poor defense as well because I can't keep taking blows like that. And I have to go on to go about with it. And try to learn around it. Uh, for the endurance fight, what I would recommend is, um, I recommend Drago or Rhino. Those are the two I would recommend. The reason behind this is they're both strong players, and offline, overexertion, poor defense doesn't actually come into play. Or Clubber Lang, Tommy Gunn as well. Since they all have those uh, perks where they're not losing health or nothing like that, they're all they're all going to hit hard. If you start getting the lead, they're going to hit hard. I would say Erling, but he's cocky and that could actually work to your benefit. And that's why I didn't choose him off. I think I'm going to take in... Uh, I'm probably going to take in Clubber Lang. Like I said, I want to use somebody... Like, Temper only comes in once I'm knocked down, so I'm trying to choose something where I won't get knocked down on while still losing my extra shit. Actually, you know what? I play as... I play as uh, Clubber Lang a lot. I'll take Tommy Gun in, actually. I told you, they're strong as shit. That's why I didn't recommend... That's why I recommended about a 5 to 7. For, uh, their... Oh, yeah. They, they're insane. That's the idea, like... I could also, like... I think I might take and try, uh... 
I think I might fight against Balboa or Nez because those two are, uh, they're tough and they hit just as strong and they have literally no defects as a bot. I, I think I'm going to go against Balboa. Not, not so easy. Oh yeah. The idea isn't so much Put of a... Uh, Rocky, I didn't even notice that. Okay. They changed Rocky's animation from uh, the old one. You know how in the movies Rocky would do the uh, little uh, prayer thing in his corner? They whipped that out on him. I never noticed that because I'm usually playing as Balboa. But now you see why I recommended these regiments. It's supposed to go and build each of us in a particular way. Well, Let's keep this above Balboa. the belt and inside the ring. Ready? Touch gloves and get Bitch. ready to fight. Oh yeah, wait. I got temper. Oh wait, yeah, no, never mind. I need to get knocked down before that works. We're underway. I'm alive here tonight with Balboa. Thanks, Chet. This is looking like one hell of a fight. <laughs> Damn, I'm even getting my ass whipped. Holy shit, that's Three, exhausting. Four. No holding that See what's fun about my challenge as an outfighter? This is not just focusing on dodging, but it's also about keeping good speed up. Oh yeah, my bow is a softball. I've been knocked the fuck out. My ball was tired of my shit. I knocked him down once, so you know what? I'm cool with that. <sighs> Alright. Now, the idea I didn't think either of us would pull this off quite yet. There's a reason why these endurance fights are gonna be tough. I, I wish, even though we get knocked down, we could see the board. I wish they would add that. Oh, yep, yep, I'm gonna... You wanna create the room or do you want me to do it? Alright, no worries. Let me know when you're ready. Now, now, would you agree that that regiment would be pretty good for you then? You think you're gonna try that once we're done here? I mean, like, keep trying. Because I don't think either one of you, Mord, uh, 
Actually, I'm going to continue to say either one of us will pull that off today unless we go and push everything for it. That too. All right, it should be two, two, zero, four, three, two. Zero, four, three, two. Now the idea as well for mine is it sounds pretty easy for me since I'm pretty well rounded with uh, offense, defense, and all that shit moving around. The trick about doing mine is, is not just about me trying to throw and uh, dodge things. I want to keep quick high speed punches going off at all given time. And I need to go and push that. Plus, I would want to in constantly improve. I'll go turn the gun again. I want my respect. Alright, do you want a traditional fight night warm up or are you good to go? I'm good to go, so it'd be a best three out of five, or do you want the best first to five? Your choice. Oh, best three or five? Incredible power! John sending his opponent stumbling. <laughs> Oh, very nice. You've gotta be kidding me. You looking pretty fly right now. You looking amazing. Oh yeah, I think I turned it off because of the uh, offline. All right, you ready? All right. one where it hurts. Gun stumbles back. I would recommend trying to watch that uh watch what you're pulling there. So I noticed both hands were going to my head. Watch shit when you're doing shit like that. Some muscles on him. I'm I'm gonna point something out. Since we got uh no timer, something I recommend doing and I pointed this out to uh King, alright? Something both you uh, both need to start doing. I taught him something special. You something special. Until y'all get uh, done with this and start learning, then I'll teach you guys what I taught each other and so forth. But something you both need to do is you both are straights. And I'm not just meaning that sexually. You both are way too much into straights. Try uh, hooking more. Hooks will be your best friend. Like I'm not even joking. Because I'm guarding more or less my front because of it. Try getting some good hooks. Because if you haven't noticed, when I'm uh, sometimes when I'm ducking, and I go, I'm going completely to go and break your rib. That's where some of my good hits are coming in. Is from where I'm ducking to the side and reaching in for, uh, for the hook. And that's also said for the head. So, when, when you're ready. I just want to point that out. Don't just keep using straights. Straights are good. They're quick. But hooks also deal some pretty good damage for the time you're going, so. Powerful blow Very nice. One. I 
I, I think it's two two right now. Did I knock him down? I, I know I knocked him down once. No, I was knocked down twice. Well, it's two two at the very least. I think it's uh, two, three, four. Yeah, one of the two. Either which way, I don't think you're like I can't afford to get knocked down again. <laughs> I had you on that rope, and I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Especially when you're moving around, if you could corner me. Oh, man, that's your best friend right there. Corner me is your best friend. Especially if, like, get me on the ropes can catch me. Like, uh, if I'm not sure if you noticed, but when we were, like, right around here, and we were fighting, and I went to duck under you, I ran right into the ropes, and I was ready to be hit. Like, I was right there give, ready to get hit. By camping by the ropes, it gives you an advantage and disadvantage, depending on how it's played. Because, obviously, with someone who likes to move around, who literally will duck your shit, you could actually use that to your advantage and trap me into that rope. I'm going to go on a... You want me to keep the rounds off, you want me to re-enable them. Okay, I'm going to keep them off because I'm being lazy. But, that, that's just how it goes. However, like I said, the ropes could also be used to, uh, like, over there. I don't like using ropes too much until you go and give me a reason to, or your Chevy, or Spartan, then sure. And then at that point, fuck you guys. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna get a little funny here. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember, I got speed. Speed, more punches, it works. Lands a good hit. Kratz delivering an absolutely devastating blow to his opponent. Another punch. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Back. Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up horribly. I fucked that up good. Ah, that was quicker than expected. Knock the fuck out, damn. One, two. Oh, oh, yeah, no, it's cool. delivering a clean hit. Sends the other end stumbling back. One, two. You ducked and you stayed ducked too long. But what it looked like when you went to duck me, you ducked into the wrong side and you weren't like a... Depending on how, if you duck this way, you go the left. The right. Oh, you, you were trying to refocus on me and you clicked the run button, didn't you? Oh, man. Like I said, that comes with a price. <laughs> Oh yeah, sometimes it's not like, that's why I like using those buttons even now. Cause I won't let you get away. The idea of being an offense, like a, an outfighter and using speed is I'm meant to keep pressure on you using speed. Especially since up speed and a swarm by uh, technicality. Oh, you got me good that game. Wasn't as uh, equal, but you did. You got me pretty good on that one. 
I just had to, I knew my character and I had to pressure myself to uh, push harder that game. That's why I went more aggressively. It's because I knew I had to deal the extra blows. Knowing that, sure, I'm sprinted, but that sprinted sometimes can't help. If you yourself apply enough to keep me staggered or keep my stamina out, sprint it means shit. So you gotta be smart about it at times. Uh, you know what? Is that you? Or you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna be a smart ass about this one. Oh yeah, lean this time is coming in. One of my biggest flaws is using lean. I'm not very... For offense, I don't like using lean. caught myself with no spam I'm trying to throw that my stamina got pressure on that one Oh, Temper helped me out there. I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe it. Ooh, I think I oh man. It's only not down two, but oh man. Oh shit, I completely spaced it. I think you might also start Two, noticing a ducking pattern three. too. Taking one where it hurts. Oh, very nice. That was very nice. That was. Was it? Say what? A lean five. I'm, I'm not gonna use a. I'm not using him this time though. I don't. I'm not. I chose it being smart. All right. Who else is lean here? I know there's another lean in this uh, room somewhere. It's either there's three leans that I'm aware of. Oh, four. A wall spirited, strong, or what do you look like? I'm going off the of looks now. Not purely going off the of looks. Ooh, not bad. You know what? You know what? I think I'm debating if I want to. You know what? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go with costume four instead of five. I love how we both chose the costume with the scales on it. <laughs> I, I I made a mention about this. You know what they really should add? Like, you know how in the... Uh, did, did you see the uh, Big Creed boxing? Like, the Big Rumble, the PS version. Not the VR, like, the console version of the game, right? You, they have uh, towers you have to go through as each player to unlock more skins for them and another player. What I think they need to do is add that same concept to this. However, depending on the... But depending on the difficulty you play it as, and which character you play it with, like let's say I'm playing as uh, Balboa, right? I play through the events, it's always going to be the same story every time, right? However, if I play it on uh, like the casual mode, the very easy mode, it'll give me a reskin costume, 
but my gloves and stuff will be like black and bronze like a bronze coloring to my shorts and my gloves and stuff like with a secondary if I beat it on the I think it's called a pro you get silver like a silver outfit and it, each character could have like their own special print and stuff on them and it's not just a black or like the you know the solid trophy color and obviously if you beat it on champion you get the gold shorts for them saying hey you beat it on uh the particular like this character you beat it on the champion mode and you you get to unlock these skins it gives us something a little more to do that way it could kind of tell people who's uh like if you're playing as uh drago and you see somebody wearing uh the gold shorts you could tell oh odds are that guy's a drago man this is who we play or it just kind of lets players know hey you're a fucking amazing player if you achieve, uh, like, if you could beat every campaign as everybody in game, though, it unlocks a special platinum shorts. Or, like, special shorts that goes on to everybody. Or, like, uh, reskins, like, uh, give us, like, gold or platinum shorts and gives us an actual belt around our character that we wear during the fight. Saying, hey, you literally beat the game as everybody on the hardest difficulty. You've unlocked everything we have to offer. Here you are, you're the champ. I wanna I wanna play as the Rocky statue. I wanna reskin so he's the Rocky statue. One hundred percent. Give him the most OP shit. Old Rocky. Oh yeah. I wanna play as Mickey. I don't even care if he has a pro side. I actually want Mickey to have a bunch of downsides. No, uh he's gonna be weak. Literally just old age. And then with old age, it says reduced health, speed, or reduced health, stamina, uh, no perks. Just flat out deny the player. You ready for the, could be the final match of the game. Could be, who knows. Or, or you might even it out, make it sudden death next game, but I'm going to take a page from your book. You will lose. Pull him up, chop. Oh, 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 you think you're funny now. I should have mentioned Strong's one. one of the better attributes for an Two. offense player. 100% is one of the best things to use for me. Spartan himself is like Drago is really good in your hands. No pulling down. Okay. This is definitely going to be much more tough for Drago. I'll give it back. So I got I can't afford to get hit all too much. Ramirez slams hard into his opponent. A hard blow from Ramirez has his opponent reeling. I'm going down next round. You got me too good this round. Unless I push you. Got me next round, I'll give you that. You'll knock me out next round. You got me pretty close. He caught him off balance. A perfect hit from Ramirez. Yeah, I, I pushed as hard as I could to keep you from doing it again. I was about to say, we ain't getting caught outside the ropes. Don't you even try that shit. That's old gen problem, not new gen. Don't even try me. Whoa, they are coming out One, two. 
Uh, no, if you could go and deliver a powerful enough oh. offense and keep me into the stagger, you'll even out the round. But you gotta be, uh, you gotta keep focus going for that shit. What a shot! Ramirez really showing off his power with that blow. Yes, I was, and I was doing it in the biggest cartoony way I could. Honestly, if you push a little, if I didn't push you as hard as I did, that third knockdown, like my second, you know, like a, a, on your third knockdown before you got knocked down, you probably, it would have definitely been 3-3 three, three knockdown. And I would, if, I, if you put that, I wouldn't have took my arm back to literally charge that shit to be a smart ass. I was going to sacrifice a round to go and try it. It was either charge up, cartoon your ass with my right arm, or I was gonna take my left arm and I was going to noticeably throw it back and backhand you with it. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, but I'm like, nah, nah, I'm gonna charge it up. I knew you were close, but I'm like, I took the assumption. But that was a great fight. Great set. Oh yeah. I I look forward to that open well, that open challenge I got. After I beat you tomorrow, you got until Tuesday. Oh uh, yeah, but you know, the longest champion reign is it's here now. I don't care what Chevy said. I know Chevy made a remark about uh you know, yesterday about like the uh about the quality of the players, but I mean, like, you all have the makings to be the champions, 100%. There's no doubt about it. It's just, he's also got to think, it's not that it's, if I went and trained so hard to get to the level I'm at, and like, you guys obviously trained hard, and I'm like on that completely different scale, who, like, there's going to be very few who could challenge it's plain and simple. However, I don't I don't really give a damn by the end. Because I'm going to just point out. Notice how Chevy never actually went and gave a length to uh, Wolfpack's end. He only said he's held it for a few months at a time. A few months compared to now guaranteed. Like, it was half a year now. But now, unlike before, it lives past half a year now. I mean, sure, you could take me. You could take me down tomorrow, possibly. And uh, you know, when you uh, challenge me tomorrow, it it could very well end. But I mean, I wouldn't count on it. The only way I see, I, the only way I'm seeing my ass go down for the count is if everybody shows up. I mean, if. King shows up and fights. If you show up, if Rexy, if uh, Green, if all of y'all show up, if Ace shows up, any of y'all and as many of y'all come in, that will push endurance, especially in the heat that it is. Oh man, it's been killer with heat these last few days. Like, it has been horrific. So with that being said, I'm thinking, if y'all push it like that, you will wear me out. Right now is the golden opportunity. Apply the heat. I mean, even if there's just four people, that will still be like a total of, uh, we'd still have a pretty massive amount of uh, fights to go through. There'd be like two fights, and then obviously that final fight's gonna, you know, the championship round, that's at least five fights. At least I would have to go through in heat. Like, I don't sweat normally. However, you got me sweating today. Most opponents, most of the time when I'm fighting y'all, I don't sweat. Now that I'm employing all the uh, ducking, dodging, all that stuff for y'all. Because, you know, it's like, you, you earned it. Plus, I need y'all to keep fighting it so you can finally get the, uh... So you guys can finally understand the train better. But, you know, I wonder if that actually works. Like, you know that little whiteboard that has the uh, drawing of the dummy and the combo on it? 
I wonder if that actually works. I would laugh if that's an instant KO punch right there. Like, if you could hit that, you gotta get out of here. Oh, no, you good. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'm waiting until then. You better know I'm gonna be backing it up on Discord. I'm, not, I'm gonna be relentless about that bitch for a second. But good game, man. Do that montage if you do. That will work you out even better. But I'll catch you later, man. And now reigning with more than half a year under my belt. Is anyone going to step up to the plate today or tomorrow? I have open championship fights until the 11th. One week to do it. One week to dethrone me any gimmick you want. Shut up. Go or throw your arrow somewhere else. But who knows who cares. I'm just looking for a challenge. That will conclude today's fight night. And as always, your undisputed, undefeated champion. Peace out.